So there are other possible al allergens. In fact, I've seen every food on the 96 panel come up as a potential al allergen. Sometimes it might be a citrus, sometimes it might be a particular bean, sometimes it might be a particular vegetable, maybe even a meat or a seafood. So there's a reason that every one of the foods that we've developed in the 96 food panel is there. Even sugars, and people may say, well, sugar is a simple molecule, how can you be allergic? However, in the processing and milling of sugar, many other proteins are introduced, and someone could have a severe allergen. And I've seen a severe allergen to any one of those components. And the issue is that we're constantly exposed to these substances. If we're allergic, as I've said before, if we're allergic to papaya, papaya and kiwis, it wouldn't matter if we were allergic because we're not exposed to any great extent. But the fact that these chemicals, substances, proteins, are such a saturated level in our society, if you are allergic to one of these substances, you can be constantly drowning in your own inflammatory process. Another protein I've seen like that is the proteins in yeast, bakers or brewers yeast, things that ferment barley to make beer or things that make bread rise. These are also little animals, these yeast, and allergens to them can be very, very strong, um, create any number of symptoms. Uh, a lot of arthritis is created by, I've seen particular yeast allergens and asthma too. But basically, a lot of these patients also come in with a real fatigue level. In other words, chronic fatigue. A lot of these patients experience severe fatigue. And then it may even be to sugars, like sucrose. Now, someone say, would say, someone maybe from a biochemical background, how can you be allergic to that molecule that's a sugar? And you're not allergic to that, but there's over 200 proteins that come in milled sugar. In other words, just table sugar, that white stuff you might use, it's got a lot of proteins in there from the sugar plant or sugar cane. These can be very allergic too. And this is, again, another substance which we're exposed to chronically. So if you have this inflammatory process, you're going to constantly be exposed to this food, and that's what's going to do the damage. Listen, if kiwis and papayas were the allergen for a particular person, they're not going to have symptoms, not in this culture at least. But if you're allergic to one of these substances, which we're exposed to all the time, that's when you're going to have a lot of problems. And that's what you probably are experiencing or your loved one is experiencing.